This is David, a farmer who owns a Kubota disc spreader and a Kubota tractor, both equipped with Tractor Implement Management System, TIM, which allows the spreader to control the tractor in order to achieve the best results. David knows that if he wants to use his fertilizer spreader in the most precise and efficient way, he needs to make a few proper settings before he can start to spread. Furthermore, he needs to keep checking those settings during spreading. First thing is to adjust the required inclination of the spreader based on the desired working width. But he also needs to adjust the spreader to the correct height above the crop. For the Kubota spreaders, the distance from the spreading disc to the crop should be 75 cm. After David has adjusted the height and inclination of the spreader, he is ready to fill it with fertilizer. But wait, does he need to adjust the height and inclination before or after filling it with fertilizer? If he adjusts the spreader first and then fills it with fertilizer, the spreader will lower because of the weight in the hopper and the pressure in the tractor tires. But it will also tilt backwards. Then he will not have the right height and inclination and as a result he will have a narrower working width and underdosing between the passes. If he adjusts the spreader after filling it with fertilizer, it will look good in the beginning, but when the hopper starts to empty after some spreading, the spreader will go up and tilt to the front because of the weight influence on the tractor tires. This will create a wider working width and, as a result, overdosing between two passes. But because David is a smart farmer who has chosen to work with smart machines, he can start to spread his field without worrying because his spreader will communicate with the tractor and as soon as any deviation from the preset position occurs, the spreader will ask the tractor to adjust the height and length of the top linkage. Then David can drive comfortably and focus on other important tasks. David also needs to take care of the PTO speed of the tractor, depending on the working width and fertilizer that he would like to spread. Of course, the PTO speed can change on hills and on the headland. The other benefit that David will have with his Tim spreader is that the spreader will also adjust the tractor PTO speed automatically in order to keep a constant disc speed. Another thing that David doesn't need to check during driving. At the end, David can just relax and drive his favorite tractor and spreader because everything will be adjusted automatically and he doesn't need to worry about wrong settings and bad spreading results.